I just came from my doctors and uh, not good news. My uh, cancer, which I've been fighting for four years, has uh, progressed. There's one last ditch uh, effort that may lead to cure, which I'm going to do. But if that fails, then the estimates are unpleasant. But I've been at this place multiple times in the last four years. And so when someone lives with that consciousness, something happens. It's something very good happens. You kind of live each day uh, and you appreciate time. And in reality, just think of it philosophically. You begin to die from the day you're born. No one lives forever. Some people live 20 years, some people live 100 years. But in the grand scheme of creation, it's finite. So in my opinion, it's not important when and how you die. It's much more important how you live. And so, because when and how you die is not in your control, but how you live is within your control. How you think, how you speak, and how you act is within the free will and volition of man. So my advice to people is appreciate the gift of consciousness in life that you're being given. Happy birthday, because every instant of time is a re act of recreation. It's a dynamic involvement on God's part for us to be. If you woke up, that's proof that he wants you to be and that you didn't finish your job. And I, I would say the world will be redeemed or fixed, rectified through acts of goodness and kindness. Even if the sword is on your neck, you should never give up hope. So I, I do feel the sword on my neck, but I'm still very hopeful. And I live with more tranquility and serenity than I've ever had in my life, which is very counterintuitive because for, for the carnage and the malevolence evil that I've come into contact with in the last two years, I would not expect that type of inner peace. But what I've realized is that when you're in alignment, you seem to be in alignment with the divine will, there's a certain gift of tranquility that's given. And that, it's not easy, by the way. It's very hard, but so what? Um, and it's a constant struggle, but all the suffering that I went through, I still wouldn't give it up. By the way, I, I didn't ask for this challenge, but no one asked me. So as I went through it, I am going through it. The serenity is really uh, something I've been seeking my whole life. So I'm very grateful to have it.